So now bringing in a bit of gloop with the massage. Just a little bit of oil around the shoulder. So there's more of a sense of slip and slide along with the movement. And you've got really nice access to the neck here, particularly getting into the scalenes, sternocleidomastoid, upper trapezius. Reaching over here, working into pec major. Lifting the arm up so I can just pick up pec major and my thumbs are just squeezing underneath, gently probing through onto pec minor and hold. How does that feel, Sarah? It's a little bit tender. A little bit tender, okay. Quite often tight with people. Remember, pec minor pulls the shoulders forward and down, so many people are quite tight here. Well worth spending a bit of time holding it, just to squeeze with the thumbs, and I'm coming out again. You can drop the arm over the edge of the table, and I can work on the rhomboids. Heel of hand, supported thumb, forearm. Coming up here to the neck, popping the arm back down there, and again pressing the shoulder away and drawing the knuckles up towards me. How does that feel, Sarah? Really nice. Okay. A little bit tender, mm -hmm. yeah. What coming up here into the neck? Yeah. Yeah. Supported thumbs coming up through this tissue. Oh, noticing the breathing. A little bit of weight coming in there. Oh, just holding. And then we can bring in a bit more of the back. And if the client's not sure about being uncovered, just popping their arm over there so the breasts stay covered. But I've got access to Sarah's back. And I can work on the back very nicely with a forearm. That works really well here. A bit of a vibration at the same time. And check with Sarah, she's fine about me uncovering. So then again, drape down to the waist. Somebody is okay about being uncovered. You can get a lovely sweep along the side of the body. Really opening out. And for many people, actually, the idea of being uncovered whilst on the side is a bit less challenging than if they're lying on the back. I can also here work nicely, a little bit more glute needed. And work with complementary muscles, in this case the abdominals, along with the lower back, erector spinae, QL, lats. Muscles that actually are complementary, but sometimes forget about that. Supporting the tummy and the lower back.
Also coming up the side, getting the obliques, serratus anterior, teres minor and major, muscles that sometimes get a bit ignored. And in a moment we'll do a third clip which is popping Sarah into the recovery position which is helpful for pregnancy even though she isn't. <laughs> 